Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is Introduction to Audit Command Language. This is the final lesson of a series of eight lessons. And if you haven't had the opportunity to watch the first seven lessons, highly recommend it because it's gonna, um, I'm gonna be starting off where we left off in the seventh lesson and it's gonna make a lot more sense if we go from there. So in this lesson, we're gonna be covering sampling. Sampling's really important, uh, especially if you're an auditor uh, because you do need to perform random sampling or sample from an entire population because you can't go and test everything. So it's going to allow you to, to pick a more random uh, sample. There's no such thing as true random, but it allows you to pick a more random sample. So I'm going to show you essentially four ways to random sampling using two different methods. So we're going to go to, we're going to open this up and we're going to open up May employee May and go to sample and I'm going to walk you through the two most common ones and the two types. So this is the fixed interval, which basically means sample within a, a fixed interval, whatever uh, uh, whatever interval that you want. Where do you want to start? What's the cutoff? Which is basically where do you want to cut off and say that's my last sample and I'm going to auto select that. Uh, versus random sampling, which is basically give me the size of the sample, uh, the sample size that you ultimately want. Uh, what the seed is again like what do you want to start and what's the population so what you'll see here is is basically opposite approaches to sampling and then you can either sample on MUS or on record so what MUS is monetary unit sampling which is basically you're sampling based off of a dollar value interval while record sampling is essentially you're sampling based purely off the records so Let's just get started and just do random. Let's just do random record. And I want my size to be 15. And you'll see here it's selected a population of 201. And I'm just going to call this, um, yeah, let's just call this uh, employee may uh, ran 15. And you'll see there, pretty straightforward. And if we go back to the employee May and we go select sample and uh, let's select MUS and let's do an interval. Let's do an interval of a hundred, a uh, hundred thousand, hundred thousand dollars. Let's make the, let's leave these blank and just call this, oh uh, no, let's make it 50,000 actually. And we're going to call this employee May fi uh, uh, fixed. 50k and there you go so how do we know that this is picking correctly so we know it does it based off interval so if we highlight this column and go to uh, analyze total you'll see it's 1 million so 1 million divided by 50,000 is approximately 20 samples uh, there you go so that's how you perform sampling really straightforward but super useful you definitely want to take into consideration different opportunities to select random amounts or you can base off your interval instead of being um, a fixed dollar amount you can be based off of uh, materiality or percentage of sales uh, etc so I'll, I'll leave it there and i look forward to speaking to you when we do the customized uh, acl workshops and those will come out shortly thank you